Welcome back. Continuing the journey, this is still beta footage. Right now, the servers are down and they are implementing the highly anticipated maintenance that everyone has been looking forward to that is supposed to solve and resolve um, many of the issues that have been plaguing their launch. Um, I also wanted, before I get too far into this, this is at normal speed. And I did that because I wanted to show you guys um, what it's like if you get in the game <clears throat> as it is. Uh, because hopefully at the end of maintenance today, everybody, according to Yoshi, everybody that wants to play the game will be able to play. So, what are they doing with this maintenance? They are increasing the server capacity for the servers that are already online. So, if you have um, a character there, the uh, you should be able to access it. Uh, the number of concurrent players uh, online at one time is supposed to be increased. New worlds are supposed to be added so that uh, all of the players that weren't able to create a, an account um, are able to, you know, get in. Uh, you know, that, do that don't have a character online already. Because they had also, um, on many worlds, uh, suspended character creation. Now, I'm assuming from Yoshi saying that everybody that wants to play will be able to play uh, that should mean that people who want to buy the game are able to buy the game to be able to play. We shall see. Yeah, that's the the um, the boat that I'm in. From what I've been told uh, by many people located in all across the the country, whether you're in the U.S. or you're in Europe. Uh, there is a problem getting physical discs. I went around searching yesterday, and I think one of the GameStops actually had some in the back, but the problem here is that if they sell it to you and you can't log in, Square Unix is automatically going to refer you back to the vendor. And then GameStop is going to say, well, you opened it, and you put that code in, we can't resell it, so we can't refund you. And that opens them up for chargebacks. So I definitely understand if they have physical copies of the game that they have them in the back. But I, that's just my my thought that there there may be some places where they do have them and it's in the back. Um, there have been problems, uh, well, of spamming in the game. There are many bots in the game. There are videos sh uh, showing up on YouTube of people, you know, where they recorded the bot. They're clearly bots, clearly bots. 10, 12 accounts at a time. Um, Yoshi also addressed uh, an AFK timer where it would kick you if for inactivity after a while. He said that that's something that they're looking into at a later date, but as of right now, they were so focused on give, getting everybody in the game and increasing capacity that they did not address that issue. Now, to me, that seems like that's part of the problem, but I don't know how much of a headache that would have been to program. So, maybe it would have been a very big deal. I don't understand why that wasn't in the game to begin with. Now, they said that, uh, Yoshi said that they just did not anticipate 4 million-ish copies to be sold, particularly since this was a uh, relaunch and the amount of people interested in the beta is not a good indicator of how many people <clears throat> would uh, actually purchase the game. Now, they had something like a million-ish people in the game for, for beta. And as I mentioned before, I had a problem in Phase 4 where it got to a point where I couldn't even log in. It, I kept getting maintenance maintenance errors. Um, but I can understand their point of view. 
And uh, while I understand that there are many frustrated, angry people, what's done is done. And it's more about resolving these issues more than harping on those issues. So, like I said, I'm, I'm really hoping if, uh, let's put it like this, if they did not increase the capacity enough to allow everyone to log in and open up the game so that people can purchase it, yeah, that's, that's gonna... That's going to be, I mean, people are already comparing it to being worse than SimCity's launch, which was, you know, worse than Diablo 3's launch. <laughs> so, you know, it's getting to the point um, where these MMOs are, are, or any game, it's not necessarily an MMO, MMO, any game that wants to have online functionality needs to over-anticipate than under anticipate it's better to have more worlds in my opinion and then merge them which you know I, I, then to under to grossly under anticipate in my opinion <clears throat> so but it, it does clearly show that we're not ready I mean a lot of gaming companies want to have all of this online on the cloud crap and uh, until games launch perfectly, flawlessly, 99% of the time, we're not ready for that. It's a great concept, but we're not ready. So, from what I've seen of people playing the game, I've been watching on Twitch, people, high-level players playing the game, the game is fun. There are some things that need to be addressed, like fates, um... They give a lot of XP, but because so many people are using them to level quickly versus doing something dynamic in the world, um, they're not a lot of fun. There's not a lot to do. Uh, you shoot something one or two times and then it's done because people are hoarding to those more so than normal because of um, they want to level. So... That's something that they're going to have to balance. I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, it, so here you can see very quick, uh, briefly, what it's like to travel within the world. And what I was saying before about how I like this because it's more instantaneous. Um, of course, instead of running around, there are ground mounts um, that I intend to get once I'm able to get in the game. Um, but I'm really looking forward to exploring the world because it is a beautiful game. And I did enjoy it while I was able to play it. I want to get into crafting and you're able to do different classes and roles. Oh, they announced another class, a ninja. Oh, I'm there. I am there. Depending on the mechanics, if the mechanics, if it's something that I can do successfully, uh, I will do that. And I'm showing this a little bit so that you can get an idea of what these screens look like. <clears throat> um, because I want to give you a really good idea, you know, of, of what the game is like, uh, you know, before you go, before you purchase it, if you're interested in it. I'm looking forward to getting it, even with all the, the, the issues and problems and whatnot. Um... I'm looking forward to it and if they really sold four million copies um, if they can retain those people that's some serious competition for WoW which they need WoW has been a juggernaut for too long and um, when you have no competition that's not good for the consumer not at all so I'm really, really hoping. Wow, that's a bad shot. Wow. Um, alrighty then. That's one thing I've noticed with the little people, is that some of the camera angles are quite amusing. <laughs> and I think uh, this is probably a good time to end. Yeah, wow, she's right at his knees.
That's hilarious. Uh, so hopefully the next video you'll see, I'll be in the game. And I'll keep you guys posted. And I'll see you guys in the next one.